Hi and welcome to your Sam and Arm Silverbacks Game Day Preview presented by The Woodshop for Wednesday, April 7th. This afternoon, your backs will play their third game of the season and second against the Vernon Vipers. Sam and Arm enters with a record of 0-2 and the Vipers are 2-0 so far in the young season. Let's start by recapping the first two games for the backs. They did fall to Vernon in the first game of the year 4-1. They allowed two power play goals in that game, but a 5-on-5 looked very good. They ended up outshooting Vernon 33-26, but it really was special teams that was the difference in the opening game. On the Saturday, the Silverbacks met the West Kelowna Warriors for the first time this season, and it was a deadlock through 40 minutes at 0-0. Both goaltenders Owen Say and Zach Bennett very strong, and the backs broke the deadlock on a power play courtesy Sullivan, Sullivan Mack six minutes into the third to make it 1-0. Ben Woodhouse would respond on a West Kelowna power play to make it 1-1 with just over six minutes left. And then Carter Wilkie with late game heroics with a buck 22 to go in the game. He burst down the wing and just was able to cut to the net and slip a shot past the glove of Say to give the Warriors the 2-1 victory. Head coach Tyler Shattuck said, obviously special teams not great over the weekend, allowing three power play goals against. However, at five on five, he said he was very happy with how the team played. Five on five, I think we defended really well. Um, now we have to kind of take that attention to detail um, and that kind of grittiness that we've been defending with and turn it into our ozone play as well with getting good ice and getting inside ice on some guys and being able to put home some second chances. As as you can see, both, both teams that we play have some pretty good goalies, so we're going to have to go with the volume approach rather than the one-and-done approach. Your silverback player to watch for this afternoon is forward Noah Serdakny. The youngster does have two points in two games to lead all silverback players. He had an assist on each of the goals on Bennett and Max goals so far. And he's been very good in the offensive zone along the outside of the ice, battling for pucks, protecting pucks, and working along the wall. That extra effort has been very impressive from the rookie. He's your silverback player to watch powered by Twin Anchors. How to tune in this afternoon? Of course, BCHL TV will carry all games all season long with a live HD stream. BCHL TV is powered by Hockey TV, and you can catch all the action starting 15 minutes prior to puck drop. So that's 12.45 this afternoon with puck drop set for 1 p.m. Pacific time. We hope we'll see you then.